Merry Christmas to you and beautiful family. And I just want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you, a very massive thank you to my beautiful subscribers, my beautiful viewers for joining with me through 2023. You guys are amazing. Like, thank you for all you have done, sharing my videos, your comments. Everything you have done has added value to this channel. Pray to God that as we celebrate this wonderful season, that every expectations of our hearts, God will definitely bring them to manifestation in jesus name i wish you a wonderful celebration so in today's video there are lots of questions that have been receiving even in the comment section of my videos and also inbox in my email and so on so i'm here to share some of the answers with you this is the new rules for international students like you all know what has been going on in the uk recently a lot has been happening and a lot of people are currently confused to be honest i even think that even the government too the ministers are still very confused we really can't tell about um, the new rules one day they are saying this the next day is this honest there has been a lot of confusion with those um, five steps to cut down net migration even the ministers are still very confused because there is no clear direction james clevery the home secretary promised that there will be some clarity in the future which is what we are looking forward to but this is an update on the new rules for international students because i've received a lot of questions these questions are questions that we, we can't even answer at the moment except the government have said something different they always mention in my video that the uk law is something that today could be this tomorrow it could be that so we just have to keep following the trends to see the one that will best work for us. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fadura. If you're joining me for the very first time, I'm so happy to have you all in our beautiful family. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. I really do appreciate. God bless you. If you're new to this channel, a great content on how you can migrate to the UK. Jobs with visa sponsorship that can sponsor you and your family from overseas to the UK. UK immigration updates live in the uk scholarships in the uk like everything you can think about the uk so if you're someone who is interested in such content or you know anybody that may be interested please do share this video with them also like and subscribe turn on the notification bell so each time i upload a new video you're definitely going to be the first person to see that video so guys let's quickly dive right into today's video just as you can see on my screen our new rules for international students in the uk 2024 from 1st of january 2024 changes to the uk student visa rules mean that international students will no longer be able to bring their dependents partner or children to the uk unless they are enrolled in a phd or postgraduate research program this follows changes to the student visa rules that were made on the 17th of july i filmed a video on that on the 17th of july 2023 that the UK government said that if you're a student, you cannot switch your visa anymore to a skilled worker visa. In the past, students cannot even switch until you finish your studies. At some point, the UK government said, okay, you cannot switch if you're a student. Next thing, they came up again after a few months, they said you can't switch anymore. So, which is why I keep saying, be calm, keep calm. Like, even when they set a particular rule, they will always come back for an amendment. So, these are some of the questions I've received and also their answers from the government website and other professionals so the first question just as you can see on my screen can i extend my students dependent visa after january 2024 and the answer is yes now i have seen a lot of switches recently in fact i saw one two weeks ago when a student dependent switched so it is not a problem people have been asking me that question like oh if i recognize switch if as a dependent as a dependent in the uk been a student in the uk and at some point i had to become a dependent as well dependents are very free to do a lot of things in the uk as a dependent you can also open your own organization you can open your company and operate apart from the fact that you're not entitled to benefits so just as you can see yes as long as the main student visa holder that is your partner or parent started their course of study before 1st of january 2024 so which means that if you're in the uk already yeah as a dependent you can switch you will still be able to extend your dependent visa for as long as their visa remains valid. The new rules on student visa dependence only apply to courses that start after 1st of January 2024. So if you are already in the UK, you've already started your course, then this does not apply to you from what the response is. To be honest, the Home Secretary clearly stated that this is a forward-looking change, not a backward. So can my family apply for a dependent visa after I switch to 
a post study work visa that's the psw as you can see on my screen if you plan to switch from a student visa to a post study work visa which is psw also known as the uk graduate visa your partner and children will still be able to apply for a dependent visa to remain with you in the uk remember under the graduate visa rules this is only possible if your partner and children have been living with you in the uk as your dependent while you have been studying so if your family is here already you can apply with them and they can still depend on you but if they are not with you in the uk then you will not be able to apply for them to depend on you you can only apply for yourself and when you're able to get a skilled worker job you meet the new salary threshold then you can invite your family to come over so can i switch from a dependent visa to a work visa in the uk i have received this particular question over and over and like i earlier said that i also saw a student dependent that switched to a care worker visa two weeks ago and he has applied for his visa so i see no reason why you cannot switch as a dependent like i said as a dependent in the uk you are not restricted to a lot of things unlike being a skilled worker which is a main applicant or being a student in the uk you are restricted to a whole lot but as a dependent you are not restricted to most things in the uk so just in case you are one of those who have sent me this message asking me can i switch from a dependent visa to a work visa in the uk listening to this like this video share this video because a lot of people have been asking me this question and subscribe if you're yet to subscribe because i'll be sharing a lot of information on this so you know exactly what is going on and what next to do so the answer to that question is yes if you're living in the uk on a student dependent visa you can still switch to a work visa e.g skilled worker visa but you must meet the criteria for the work visa you are applying for by switching from a student dependent visa to a uk worker visa you will gain permission to remain in the uk in your own right and not based on the immigration status of your partner or parents so this gives you your own right like your own rights of stay once you get your skilled worker visa you're on your own you're not depending on your husband your wife the only exception is parents of children on student visas who are not permitted to switch to a skilled worker visa so to switch from a student dependent visa to a skilled worker visa you must have an offer of an eligible job from an employer with a uk sponsor license which is your certificate of sponsorship guys i've got a fantastic news for you are you a new migrant or are you currently in the uk or any part of the world and you have been thinking of sending money to your loved ones then you don't have to worry anymore i've got a very good app a fantastic app whenever you send money to your friends and loved ones in any part of the world now Letterback is the app for you if you have been struggling with other apps like i actually did struggled with other apps before i came across Letterback. Letterback has been very effective and come to think of it the rates on Letterback is very competitive and it's very easy very fast and smooth it gives you access to 15 currencies and over 21 countries currently it's never Letterback. my app is very easy to understand it's not complicated it's very easy to to use it's free to download and use my referral code to sign up and once you sign up it enables you to create an account in few minutes and once your account is set up then you're good to go and you can also open an account on Leatherback, which will give you access to 15 currencies that you can always send money in any currency you want to so download the app now use it and send money to your friends and loved ones and thank me later like i said it's very easy to use and if you've got any problem while using the app you've got 247 customer service to support you through the process it's a trusted app Leatherback is registered with financial conduct authority in canada in united kingdom in nigeria and so on you don't need to worry about anything when using Leatherback to send money to your friends and loved ones because your money is secured so guys quickly download the app with a link in the description box below and use my referral code to sign up and thank me later thank you very much for your time i've seen a lot of students dependent switch to care worker visa right now because switching to a care worker visa you are exempt from paying IHS and the full visa fee. Now, you must meet the minimum salary requirements as at the time of writing in December 2023, this is currently 26,200 per year, 10 pounds 75 per hour, or the going rate for your occupation for care workers' occupation is 20,960 pounds at the moment. Even if the government have said they are going to implement the new salary threshold, bear in mind that care workers are on the shortage occupation list. So even if the government is taking off the 20%, 
that brought it down to twenty thousand nine hundred and sixty pounds by the time they'll be taking that off then you should be in around twenty four thousand something your salary threshold will still not be up to thirty eight thousand seven hundred but you must meet that requirement now meet the english language requirements a lot of people have been asking me about this particular requirement i will tell you i'm switching as a defender do i need ielts yes if you don't have a first degree you need to write ukvi ielts and you need to score a minimum of 4.0 in all the skills and the overall score so you can't switch as a defender if you don't have the english requirements if you don't have the english requirements and you get your cs and you apply for your visa then your visa will be refused so ensure like i always say be visa ready before you go for cos because you can go for cs and you're not visa ready and the visa will be refused and you've just wasted your time time by applying for a visa and also the visa application fee and so on so as a dependent in the uk planning to switch you still need the english proficiency if you have a first degree then you can apply through ethics so ethics will give you the ethics certificate and you use that for your english proficiency but in a situation whereby you don't have you still have to write your ielts because if you don't write it then your visa will be refused if you have watched this video till now and you find this video helpful please do subscribe also like and share this video to more people so i'm going to take you to the home office page on the health and care worker visa so if in order for you to switch to this visa so just as you can see on my screen switch to this visa that's to say student dependent and other skilled worker dependents are still switching to this visa so switch to this visa you might be able to apply to change that's to switch to health and care worker visa if you are already in the uk on a different type of visa they did not say there are categories of visa that you cannot be able to switch your partner or child's visa will not automatically switch to this visa if you switch yours if they do not switch their visa it will be valid until its original end date they can either apply at the same time as you or at any time before their current visa expires this is what the gov page is talking about switching so in order for you to switch the care worker visa as a student dependent you must meet the following requirements your job meets the eligibility which was what i just read all the requirements if you're currently in the uk on a student visa you must also meet one of the following requirements this is if you as the student is the one switching you must have completed the course you were sponsored to study your job start date is after your course has finished you have studied for a phd for at least 24 months so if you have studied for a phd for at least 24 months without completing your phd you can actually switch to another category of visa but if you have not then you cannot switch a lot of students that came now most of them had problem with their studies and they are not able to switch so please make sure you when you come to the uk take your studies very important because one of the things the uk government now is doing they want to see how those that are not meet the required scores in their schools will be sent back which i have seen a lot of people that have received the letter from their school writing to home office that they've withdrawn their sponsorship so just as you can see who cannot apply to switch to this visa you cannot apply to switch to this visa if you are currently in the uk on a visit visa on a short-term student visa on a parent of a child student visa on a seasonal worker visa on a domestic worker in a private household visa on immigration bill because you were given permission to stay outside the immigration rules for example on compassionate grounds you must leave the uk and apply for health and care worker visa from abroad if you are in one of these categories as you can see there was no place that was mentioned that students cannot switch to this category of visas so guys please calm down when i say calm down eh just calm down like i said i could just drop this video and the next update will be something different so when you hear most of this oh bad news sad news good news don't panic yet just calm because like they've said that there will be more clarity to be honest even the government is still confused about this whole thing i don't think they actually thought of how people were going to react when they set the five rules but right now there have been so many reactions both good and bad so the uk government is definitely going to do something about it if it's, your dream is to move to the uk come 2024 you will definitely move to the uk 2024 just be positive and be focused okay let's move into the new year with some good vibes some good news and some lovely testimonies from you guys so guys we've actually come to the end of this video and until i see you in my next video 
you take care and have a lovely celebration please don't forget to subscribe if you're yet to join our beautiful family i also have other videos that will make your journey easy smooth and affordable to the uk so don't forget to join our beautiful family if you're yet to do that until i see you in my next video take care and have a lovely celebration thank you very much for watching and bye bye for now